Best Buy Stock, ticker symbol BBY. They will present the quarter results on the 24th of May and with the stock being down roughly 30% year to date, I think it's the perfect time to do a fundamental analysis. In this video, I will show you everything you need to know about Best Buy stock. I will show you what Best Buy does and I will show you my fundamental analysis to see if BBY stock is a buy or not. I'm very excited to see what you guys think about this stock, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stocks at great prices. Please subscribe to join the community and to receive multiple analysis every week where I will tell you everything you need to know about the stock market. So what does Best Buy do? Best Buy is a consumer electronics retailer with operations in the US, Mexico and Canada and sell their products online and within their stores. An interesting thing that I see in the investor presentation is that the number of stores are decreasing and there's a shift towards e-commerce. Around 20 stores are closed each year and just a few stores are opened. So Best Buy is focusing on the e-commerce platform, which is growing in high amounts as we see in this chart. One of the benefits of selling more online is that margins are higher versus offline. When we check the revenue breakdown, we see that computing and mobile phones is their biggest segment, with 44% in revenue share. Consumer electronics is at 31%, appliance at 40%, and then we have entertainment and services with just a minimum revenue share. On the right side, we see that comparable sales summary, which is very important. We see that their biggest segment, computing and mobile phones, is growing at 5% in comparable sales. In 2021, it was growing at 13%. Consumer electronics and appliances are growing in high amounts. In this graph, we see the comparable sales on a high level of all categories combined. We see that in 2021 and 2022, Best Buy is growing, but in the years before, we see a decline. So this is something to keep an eye on. Are they able to grow in the same amounts in the future? The last thing I want you to show are the expectations for the future. In 2019, they made a 2025 outlook, but things have changed, which will lead to a higher revenue and margins than expected. The CE industry grew faster than expected. The online mix has nearly doubled. There's a new membership program and the category expansions. So this means the outlook for 2025 will be higher, as we see in this graph on the right side, but it will grow in slower amounts as it did before. The CE industry will have a decline in 2023, but from there it will grow again. An interesting thing is that Best Buy is entering new categories. Health, outdoor living, electric transportation and indoor living. The last thing I want you to show are the market shares they claim to have. They claim that one out of three televisions is bought at Best Buy and it's the same with laptop and home PCs. They have a 10 to 20% market share with the imaging products, headphones, gaming devices and major appliances. And less than 10% in phones, small appliances, cardio machines and of course the new categories. So there's plenty of room to grow the market share in the different categories. And I really like that they are going to enter new categories. And with that being said, it's time to check the historical stock price performance of Best Buy and compare it to the S&P 500. Amazon and Walmart. I know that these companies are different, but they do all sell electronic stuff and are in some way a competitor. On the five year chart, we see that only Amazon did beat the SP 500. Best Buy went up only 40%, Walmart 50%, and the SP itself went up 63%. On the one year chart, we see that Best Buy went down 36%, the SP 500 went down 6%. Amazon went down 33% and Walmart went down 16%. On the one more chart, we see that Best Buy is down 23%. The S&P is down 12%, Amazon is down 30% and Walmart is also down 25%. So only on the five year chart, you beat in the S&P 500 with owning Amazon stock. In all other charts, the S&P 500 did win. So that's really interesting, I think. And with Best Buy stock being down 30% year to date, I think it's the perfect time to check if they are a buy right now. So let's check the fundamentals of this company. Best Buy is a 70 billion market cap company with a PE ratio of just 7.6, which is really low to be honest. 
and it has been this low for a really long time, so maybe people don't see the excitement of this company. The operating margin is sitting at 5% and profit margin is sitting at 4.7%, which is very low, but also very common in this industry, so that's not worrying me at all. But I would like to see higher margins in general. Over time the gross margin is decreasing, but operating margin and profit margin both increased, which is a good thing. So they do a good job here, I think. Both return on assets and return on equity are above the 10% minimum, so that's also a good thing in my opinion. The return on invested capital is also looking good. The 12 trading month revenue is sitting at 51 billion, and Best Buy has a quarterly revenue growth year over year of minus 3%, which is not a good thing. But the revenue went up a lot during the lockdown periods, which we see in this chart. So when things cooled down, the revenue decreased a little bit. And I think it's very interesting to see what happens in the short term with the revenue. Are they able to sustain the growth of the last couple of years or will the revenue fall down? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. When we check the balance sheet we see that Best Buy has a total cash of almost 3 billion and a total debt of almost 4 billion. So they are capable of paying down a big chunk of their total debt, which is something I really like to see. For me, it's very important that companies have an increasing free cash flow, since this is used to pay down debt of course, but also to buy back shares, pay dividends, do acquisitions and research and development. In this graph we see that free cash flow is growing in a somewhat of a steady pace, with some exceptions, but overall it's looking really good to me. Another great thing is that Best Buy is buying back a lot of shares, which will lead to a higher EPS and it's more easier to maintain the dividends. In the past 5 years, Best Buy bought back roughly 24% of its shares outstanding, which is insane. The last thing that I want you to show are the dividends, sitting at 4.8% dividend yields and a payout ratio of just 29%. The 5 year growth rate is sitting at 20% and they grew the dividends for 8 years in a row. This scoreboard is really impressive I think. My final conclusion with this company is that I think they are an undervalued company based on the PE ratio and the other fundamentals. They have enough cash to pay down a big chunk of their total debt and margins are increasing. Dividends are also increasing in high amounts and they are entering new categories within their assortment. So basically you've got all the potential into one stock to be a multiburger in the long run. But why is this company trading at a PE ratio below 10 for almost a decade. That's something I cannot tell you. Maybe people don't see the excitement with this company. But I think it's a very interesting company and I'm looking forward to the earnings because when they are capable of increasing the revenue again, this stock will go up very easily. But remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about a stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I would really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.